Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. The third day of the 2021 NBA playing tournament has just concluded with the Washington Wizards beating the Indiana Pacers in basically a blowout, which means the Washington Wizards will be the eighth seed and will face the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round of the 2021 playoffs on Sunday. Now, this game, this game was a blowout to say the least. It looked like the Pacers were just flat on offense. The Wizards came into this game knowing that they had to win. And you can you can see it in their eyes. They wanted to win this game. You saw Wesley Westbrook flying through the court, getting guys open on different looks. And there were so many turnovers by the Indiana Pacers that led to fast break points by the Washington Wizards. This was a game where it seemed like the Wizards had just more energy than the Pacers. The Pacers couldn't get that offense that they had against the Hornets two days ago, where it looked like their offense was even better without their second best player in Karis LeVert, who missed that game, you know, due to COVID. But it was interesting to say the least that the Washington Wizards were able to get their offense back on track. And it seemed like this was a good sign for these guys. And this leads into them playing the Philadelphia 76ers. And let's talk about that series for a little bit. So this series, in the season, the 76ers beat the Wizards three times in the season. And within those three games, Two of the games were close. One of those games, I think it was the second game or the second time they played each other. Bradley Beal had 60 points. So these are games that were very, very close. I think the third game was a blowout, which um, Ben Simmons did not play in. So the Sixers are a better team than the Wizards. I believe the Sixers will win this series. The only thing that the Wizards have with them is the fact that this season has been something to really, really not gloss over. This has been something inspirational for this team. You look back at how back in March, it seemed like people were ready to slander Westbrook, Beal, Scott Brooks, and say that this team was basically cast off. There's no point in even talking about these guys, but they motivated themselves, led by Russell Westbrook breaking history, going out every night, recording triple doubles. You guys can go look at my video where I talked about that stuff. Bradley Beal still continually playing hard, even though he is dealing with some injuries, and it just gave more motivation to the whole Wizards team. And it's, in, it's, it's, something that, it's not something that we can just gloss over. But again, again, the 76ers are the first seed for a reason. Offensively, they have a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. You talk about Embiid, who could have been the MVP this year. You know, he's going to be able to... This is a perfect matchup for him. This is a matchup where Embiid doesn't really have anybody on that Wizards team that can really, really stop him from doing what he likes to do. And even if they do figure out a way to make it hard for Embiid, he has so many offensive weapons on the 76ers team where you have Tobias Harris. You have Ben Simmons, even though he may not have a shot, he can still create offense for others. You have Seth Curry, not Steph Curry, but Seth Curry, who can also shoot as well. There's so many guys on this team, even from their bench. When you look at Tyrese Maxey, uh, Shake Milton, you have a lot of guys. So the Sixers are going to win this series. I believe they'll win this series, but I don't think they ha they cannot sleep on the Wizards. And the thing about the Wizards that makes them intriguing is the fact that they're playing with so much energy. This is a team that's scary in the playoffs, no matter how you look at it. Now they're injured, they're missing their rookie, Denny Avija, they're missing Thomas Bryant. But when a team is motivated going into the playoffs, you have to respect that and you have to also make sure that you're playing on the same accord because the Sixers are in a blessed position. You have to get rid, you have to get out that first round, improve your dominance, because this is a series that you have to win. So you can't waste no time. This, this series shouldn't go past six games. You have to make sure that you get, like, like people like to say, when you have your food on your plate, Eat your food and get up and go. Don't play with your food. Eat your food. So the Sixers have to do that. And the way this, the Wizards have looked leading into the season, leading to the end of the season, it just goes to show that this is a team that you cannot play with. And I think that Embiid and Simmons and Coach Doc Rivers understands that this team is also the Wizards team is not something to play around with. You gotta, you have to, you have to game plan to make sure Bradley Beal, even though he's hobbled right now. Make sure that he's having a tough time to find his offensive rhythm and make it hard on Westbrook as well because Westbrook is going to come at these guys and he's going to attack them. He's going to attack you guys. So making it harder for him and making the others on the Wizards team um, make it tough for those guys to contribute to their offense as well. Um, I want to talk about the Pacers real quick. So the Pacers are just in a stuck. Uh, they're in a tough situation in the Eastern Conference. I look at Demon Demonis and Sabonis and this is a tough way he fought out this game and he is one of the few players where, like, he's underrated because he's, he's in Indiana. People don't really talk about Sabonis or what he's done. And it sucks because he's one of the best power forwards we have in the game. And I look at the fact that they missed Karis LeVert, who was at, he was having a great season right before he was taken out due to COVID and COVID restrictions where they said he had to quarantine for at least a few days and he missed the entire playing tournament. So that's unfortunate. And he was averaging close to 25 points per game on over 40% from the field and over 40% from three. So he was balling on the offensive side of the ball. And we know this is true because we've seen Karis LeVert hoop. He's a great basketball player. You know, they're missing Miles Turner, who's one of the best defensive bigs in the league right now. 
he may not be one of the best rebounding bigs, but when he's in the low post, he's able to dismay shots, make it harder for people to come down into the area and um, convert layups or even dunks. So this team is just, they're just in the middle of the pack. And I feel like they have to do something not drastic, but they have to make a, a certified move. I, mean, I know TJ Warren didn't play this season, though, due to, um, if, I, if I remember cor correctly, it might have been an ACL injury, but I have to check that. But this team just feels like they're in the middle of the pack. I like their coach. Um, you can see him on the um, on the bench trying to motivate his players to understand that this is the end of their season if they don't convert and try to win these games. But I just think that the Pacers have to figure out a way to become a little bit more competitive in the Eastern Conference because the teams are just going to keep on getting better. You see the Knicks who have gotten better. They're ahead of schedule. The Hawks have again gotten better. Um, the Hornets are coming. This was a tough season for them. They did beat the Hornets, but I believe that they'll be better. So if it's something in free agency, I don't know. I have to check their cap space, but this is just a team that just feels like they're in the middle of the pack for so many years. And it's just, it's just, it comes to a time where something has to be done to become more competitive. But yeah, that just concludes my prediction about these games today. I just want to talk about it just for a little bit. This is more so on my offbeat. If you guys have never seen my channel before, I urge you to subscribe. I go off on different talks where I talk about some things that are going on in the NBA, some things that have happened in the past. If you like my channel, you like the content, I urge you to go ahead and check out some of my videos. Go ahead and like a few of the videos. Of course, it helps me, you know, try to, you know, the algorithm, how that stuff works, but you know, it helps people get uh, accustomed and be able to see my videos as well. And if you like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe. It helps me, of course. But um, yeah, you know, more content will be coming along the way with the playoffs already starting on Saturday. And with that being said, until next time, stay on beat.